There are a lot of things that surprise and shock our buyer clients when they're coming into the Raleigh area and getting used to it. On today's video, we're gonna tell you about eight of those things that you need to know about should you be planning a move to Raleigh. Hello everyone, this is Chris Morton, real estate broker with the Morton Bradbury Real Estate Group. And let's get started with the first one. The first thing that surprises people when they are moving to the Raleigh area is we do not have that many basements. If you're coming from an area where there's a basement and that's just kind of an accepted thing that you have and want, you're going to be disappointed. We have very few homes that have them because we don't dig out our land to create like a fully enclosed basement. We only have daylight basements in the Raleigh area, meaning you're going to have windows and a door to go out into your backyard from your basement. And so that's few and far between. Again, it's completely dependent on the topography so if you're planning to have a basement you may be having a quite a lengthy search the other alternative is what we call the basements in the sky those are family rooms third floors that are been renovated and made into kind of a basement but on the third floor the next thing that surprises people about moving to raleigh hoas are everywhere so hoas in other parts of the country have kind of a bad reputation they're demanding controlling kind of like that commercial where the hoa president lady was coming around and screaming at the homeowners because their grass or their bushes had grown that much too tall in general things aren't quite like that here our hoa dues are anywhere between 125 to 150 every quarter or year for some of the hoas where they're basically stay out of your business completely. But generally, if you have an active HOA that really does monitor what people are doing, you're looking at probably like $50 a month to $100 a month. And again, they're not like needling you and in your business all the time. If you do want to like paint your house, you're probably going to have to go to the architectural review committee. But by and large, you're not getting nasty letters all the time. So not quite like it is in other parts of the country. And it's if you are currently not having an HOA where you are, you may think that it's all like that. It's not. I I promise it's not. On the flip side, HOAs are very good things actually because they keep people from having cars up on blocks or having their grass grow excessively high. They're not going to yell at you if you weren't able to cut your grass for a week or two weeks, but like yeah, what if it was four weeks? Then you probably would want someone yelling at your neighbor who hadn't cut their grass in four weeks. So HOAs are positive. They're not that bad give them a shot. The next thing that people find surprising about Raleigh, our roads are super confusing. But before we get into those details, if you like the content you're seeing here on this video and you're considering a move to either buy or sell real estate in the Raleigh area, my real estate team and I would be honored to help you out. You can give us a call at 919-964-0474 or email us at hello at mortonbreadbury.com. So as we were saying, roads around here are confusing, especially if you're from the West Coast where everything's on a grid pattern. We don't have that here. Roads change names, they weave and wobble and go all different directions. Beyond that, the Raleigh area is growing and growing tremendously. So the main industry appears to be in our area, road construction. Roads are being built, torn up and moved around. You get the giant orange cones all over the road and you have to know how to navigate around them and so that's very very stressful and makes things even more confusing and difficult and on top of that we are not known for our street lights or our giant directional signs usually there are no street lights there are only reflective things that your headlights hit and then you have the tiny little signs telling you to go this way, way and that way so it's kind of stressful for newcomers so my recommendation is to use a navigation system on your phone or a freestanding nav system i've lived in north carolina my entire life i still nav getting around in the triangle i don't trust myself i would recommend you do the same the next thing that shocks people about moving to the raleigh area is attorneys basically just fill in the blanks and do paperwork so in a lot of areas you need to have your attorney and the other party has to have their attorney and you fight it out and you make custom contracts and you spend thousands of dollars to buy a house. In North Carolina, that's not the case. When we put together an offer to purchase for you, we basically are filling in blanks and the agent on the other side fills in their blanks and everybody signs it and they're happy. The attorney doesn't have to draft up any special documents in general. Sometimes they do, but in general, they don't draft up any special documents. They basically are doing title work and they are making sure the deed is filed correctly with the county and hand you your keys and are pleasant about. 
about it. Because of that, the cost of having a closing in North Carolina is relatively inexpensive compared to other states. Uh, I've heard title states where they have these title companies that do a lot of that work, charge three, four, five thousand dollars In general, you can get in North Carolina, attorneys are relatively inexpensive. You can see on a HUD closing document that an attorney is going to charge you a thousand dollars for their services. Now, obviously you're going to have closing costs and all that stuff in addition to it, but just strictly the attorney's time, you're looking at under a thousand dollars. The next thing that's shocking about moving to the Raleigh area is how green it is. We have lots of trees. It's very lush. We have a very good climate that is conducive for growing plants and for growing trees and especially pine trees. Lots of people are shocked by that. I've heard it my entire real estate career, how people moving here from like more of an arid climate like Arizona, Utah, that sort of thing, how shocked they are, how green things are. Now, the positive of that is it's really beautiful. It's great when you're out on the greenway walking around and, and running or in biking or whatever and enjoying it. The negative of it is those trees get really, really tall. Again, making it really stressful and difficult when you're driving around. It's like a canopy of your head, adds more to the darkness at night not a whole lot of fun, but we all love trees, so what are you gonna do? The next thing that's surprising when people move to the Raleigh area is we are a due diligence state. So due diligence, as we've said uh, many times on this channel, is an amount of money that the buyer pays directly to the seller as sort of an option fee to take the home off the market and give that buyer the opportunity to evaluate the home and decide if they want to buy it or not. At the end of that due diligence period, the buyer can elect to just walk away. They lose that due diligence money but they are not sued or, or harassed by the seller in any way. It just is the end of the transaction. If the buyer does stay in the transaction, however, that money that they put towards the due diligence does go towards your down payment. So all is not lost, but that's kind of surprising to a lot of people that generally just put sort of a down payment down and then evaluate the house. In North Carolina, you've got to put down that earnest money down payment, but you also have to put down a due diligence amount of money as well. And in the times when the market was booming, that number got up to 50, $100,000 for due diligence, sometimes even more. The next thing that's super surprising about moving to the Raleigh area, our weather is constantly changing. So in February of 2023, we had temperatures get up to 75, 80 degrees, bright, sunny, like late spring day, amazing. And then like a day or two days later, it got into the thirties and was like freezing. The plants were budding out and they just freaked out. They didn't know what to do. Very unique climate here where if you're not happy with the current temperature, the current situation, give it an hour or two, it'll change. So be prepared for that. Don't put away your sweaters and your big woolly coats. If it starts getting warm in March, it may get cold again. And the next thing that's really, really surprising to people when they move to the Raleigh area is we have a diverse food scene. So Raleigh, if you didn't know, is in the South. South equals fried foods and that's generally what people think we have and barbecue and all of that. We definitely have some great fried foods, definitely have some great Southern fare, definitely have some great barbecue. However, because of all of the university systems we have, namely UNC, Chapel Hill, Duke University, NC State, Central, and A&T, that brings in people from all over the country, all over the world to go to those universities. Lots of times they stay. Also the professors, that sort of thing, are coming to these schools. And in addition, cannot forget about the Research Triangle Park, which is literally a global research facility for technology. People from all over the planet are coming in to live in and around the Research Triangle Park to work there. All that means is that as the diverse population is existing in an area, it's going to result in diverse restaurants. So in North Carolina, not only, and especially in the Raleigh area, not only can you get the barbecue and the fried chicken, but you can also get Indian food, authentic Mexican food, Korean food, Japanese, on and on and on. It's, there's, it's never ending what the options are. So if you're from another country and you're homesick for your home country cooking, We've got that for you here. So with all that being said, if you're considering a move either into or out of the Raleigh area, my real estate team and I would love to be your agents of choice. You can email us at hello at mortonbreadbury.com. Give us a phone call at the number listed below, or there's a link in the description you can click on and all that process will get things started. Like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. Check out this video. We think you're really gonna like this one as well. And with all that being said, we'll see you on the next one. Take care, bye-bye.